Hello everybody, my name's Freddy, and you're watching Freddy Plays. In today's episode, I'll be teaching you guys all about the Forge. The humble, humble Forge. Make sure if you haven't already, you subscribe to the channel to stay in touch with all of my tutorials as I release them. I've got a few more in the works, and I've got a bunch more that I've already done, so feel free to check those bad boys out as well. But for now, let's get to forging. So the first thing you guys are going to need are some parts. Let's have a squiz to what we need. So you can see for the forge, we need 50 small stone, 50 lumps of clay, 1 bellows, and 1 short iron pipe. Now the small stones are everywhere, you can find those literally on the ground. The clay, however, is the darker patches you'll find out in the fields around the boulders. You'll see little clusters of boulders, usually with cotton and some golden rod. Uh, that dirt is typically clay, dig that up, you'll need it, and you'll need it down the line for a lot of future forged stuff, so don't be shy, grab a bunch while you're there. The bellows we need to craft, we'll get to that in a second, and short iron pipes, you can get those from breaking down cars with a wrench, uh, and air conditioners, toilets, uh, lots of bathroom sinks have them, uh, and they can just be a random drop out in the wild, so uh, basically kill everything that's not nailed down and hope it's got pipes, you should be in the clear pretty quickly. The other item you will require is this bad boy right here, a bellows. It's quick and easy to craft. There are two ways to go about it. Either 8 wood, uh, 20 leather, and a single short iron pipe. Or if you don't have leather but you've got animal hide, you sort it as well. You can use 20 animal hide instead if you have to. So let's go ahead and craft a bellows. That'll take about 15 seconds to make, and it's the final ingredient in making a forge. Now we've got our bellows, we're ready to build the forge. Well, you can see we've got 50, 50, 1, and 1, and we're good to go. Hit craft, and then let's get around it. So now you've got your forge and you're all set to go. Let's place this son of a bitch. So you can see, it just takes up a 1 by 1. Boom, we plant it, it's golden. So something I've learned recently is that the forge itself is actually destructible. I don't know if this has come out in Alpha 15, uh, or if this has been around for a while. To be honest, I never even thought to really try and deconstruct a forge. Uh, but with this bad boy here, once you've uh, once you've placed it, if you change your mind, you can use the wrench to break it down and then put it somewhere else. Uh, very important though, is the resources held within. We'll touch on that in a second. So a forge will allow you to smelt scrap materials into more valuable resources that you can use to build better things as you push forward. Things like uh, forged iron and steel to make better tools and weapons and basically upgrade everything you've got from stone to forged steel, uh, which is obviously what you need. When you first get a forge, you'll find it's empty, completely void of any materials. You've got to start from the, the beginning funnily enough. Now the things that can go inside of a forge uh, to be smelted into usable materials are clay, brass, stone, lead, iron, and glass. You can also use raw iron which you can get through breaking down boulders and the like. Uh, that will break down into iron which you can use then for other things. Now to get this bad boy running what you first need to do is grab some fuel. Uh, wood is pretty ubiquitous, just chop down a tree and you'll be okay. You can use things like coal, I uh, don't recommend it because you'll need that later on to make gunpowder if you want to blow the crap out of everything that moves. So we will grab a stack of wood and dump that into the fuel source. Now this kind of operates in the same way that the cooking stove thingy does, the campfire. Um, you want to pop your fuel in and then then you're good to start loading it up. The smelting area just down here, that's where you want to put your raw materials. So we grab clay and iron. Those are your two most common items. Almost everything in the list requires like a little bit of each of these. Um, there are obviously some that don't, but probably a good place to start clay and iron. Once you've popped them into the smelting area, turn it on. You'll see the, uh, the quantity here is dropping, and for every one that drops off, one iron is added to the forge's total resource pool. Uh, clay, I think, is one that gives you five. It takes a little bit longer to go through clay, but that's alright. Each resource has its own rate. You'll suss that out as you guys go along. Once you've started collecting enough resources, on the left here, you'll see that each one of these greyed out items is starting to light up white. That indicates that we've now got enough resources to build that item. A lot of the items on here also require additional tools in order to craft them. I'll show you what I mean. With the materials I've got in my forge right now, I can pump out some forged iron, no problems. I could then use enough forged iron to build a better weapon, a better axe, a better shovel, whatever it is I feel I need. The cooking pot, however, or cooking grill, require an anvil. 
So you're probably asking yourself, how do I get an anvil? Well, I can tell you, an anvil you can actually build uh, with the forge itself. It doesn't require any additional tools, and it is the first tool to get you on the way. Uh, the other items you require for building more advanced things uh, are the calipers and the tool and die set. These two, they're a lot tougher to find. Uh, hardware stores are your best bet to find them. Uh, you can find them occasionally, like as random loot drops, but I wouldn't hold my breath and, and just go around killing zombies hoping to find calipers. Your best bet is to hit the city hubs and look for hardware stores if you want to get the calipers and the tool and die set. And as I said, some items require these in order to be able to build them at all. So I've just jumped across to the next forge, which I've had for a long while now. Uh, you can see it's got plenty of materials in it to make a few odds and ends. Uh, the key to remember with forges is you will always need a fuel source. You can have all the resources in there that you want, but if, you, if, if your forge isn't burning, all of these items, they're no good to you. You can't make them. If you watch, I'll take the wood back out of the fuel source. All those items will turn grey because I can't build without fire. Let's take that out of there, and you can see now they're all gone. Uh, in order to build, it's pretty straightforward. Select the item you want, the quantity you're after, hit craft. It'll pop down into the build queue down here, and then it'll drop down into the output queue over here once it's ready to go. Okay? Easy peasy. Okay, so let's say you've started a brand new game. One very important thing to keep an eye out for uh, are certain prefab buildings. There are some two-story buildings, um, and if you don't want to use them, that's fine, but they do come with forges, so keep that in mind if you're after a quick start, you just want to get straight in and, and start building the more advanced stuff as quickly as possible. Uh, hey, more power to you. There are forges out there in the prefab buildings. Uh, and as I say, uh, with the right tools, you can break a prefab building down, um, uh, not a prefab building, you can break down a forge and take it with you to your own base. So uh, always keep your eye out for those forges. Just do bear in mind, any resources that are in uh, the forge, so let's say you, you spot up a forge, you quickly use it a little bit, uh, and then you want to break it down and take it with you, make sure you take those resources out. You do this by simply selecting the resource. Uh, so let's say we want to grab that iron out of there, we punch in iron, and we go to just plain old iron, and you can see it's going to give us back the scrap iron. Uh, I'll just craft one for argument's sake. Boom. You can see now we've got that scrap iron back. We'll turn this off. Don't like wasting wood. So long story short there, guys, is to make sure you retrieve all the resources you've put into a forge before you break it down. Because once you break it down, or should the forge get destroyed, those resources are gone. Okay? I feel like I might have touched on this a minute ago as well, guys, but please just keep in mind, more forges, more fire, more heat, heat on the map, which generates uh, zombies, and they will just spawn and, and come after you. They won't spawn in your base or nothing, but they'll spawn outside and you'll hear them whinging. It happened a couple of times during the making of this damn tutorial. So anyway, guys, I hope you were able to take away some useful information from this. If you did, please, again, feel free to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to have a lot more tutorials coming out for this game, uh, as well as other games I've been trying to play, but I just haven't had time lately. Um, I will be back on the wagon. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like, and feel free to hit me in the comments with any questions, concerns, anything you think I fucked up. Talk to me in the comments, guys. I'll talk back to you, and we'll see if we can clear anything up for the next episode. Uh, but until next time, dudes, may all of your battles be epic, all of your loot drops legendary, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.